Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, June the 28th, 2016. You're looking at a chart of the TVIX, looking at how on the weekly chart we still are not pulse waving positive, it's still pulse waving negative. The downturn channel is still intact even after the Brexit. Uh, you can say and make an argument that this market has been doomed for this particular security to be relegated to a life of nothing. Seems like nothing seems to work. And the reason being is because your Federal Reserve is desperate. Your central banks are desperate to pull the wool over your eyes to make you think that all is well and that there's nothing to see here when in fact there is a lot to see here. You need to know that while the crude oil was being beaten into the dust to continue to punish uh, OPEC, you see the dollar still being defended. Even though it's down today, it's still being defended. It's still above 96. Meanwhile, the euro caught a bid as well. Meanwhile, the pound tried to come back a little bit, but it is insignificant. The dead count bounced back to life, or so it would seem. But you're going to look at the chart, and you'll see that the dead cat bounce was nothing. All right, as you can see here, even though the shares got beat down in the TVIX and hit an intraday low of 246, it's still above that two right at that 250 handle it's right there all I did was pull back to give you a second chance to get into the market that's all you're looking at right here um, technically speaking on the daily chart you're, on, you're in a positive pulse wave scenario so let's take a look at another one here to paint the picture alright here's your UVXY and as you can see the UVXY same picture except for it was down like three dollars today and it closed down three dollars and twenty nine cents so as you can see this is your overall picture here so we fell from these lofty highs up here in the teens down to eleven so this is where you are right now but if you take a longer term view you can see this pullback is just setting up for the market to possibly get long again once the dead count bounces over we just don't know how much further it's gonna go but it does exist so we have to acknowledge it and here's your dollar your dollar was defended all day long as you can see here it was defended very well all right bouncing around the trend line not letting it crash down at all momentum pointing up on the close look at you all right it's getting ready to break out so you need to ask yourself a question. How is the dollar able to be strong when the other currencies are rallying? If the pound is up two, three hundred points in a day, shouldn't that shouldn't the dollar be down at least close to a penny at least? No, that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. Instead, your dollar hits ninety six eighty six yesterday, and you're only down to ninety six eighteen that's it that's it so that should let you know that the dollar is being defended you cannot even make the correlation arguments that you used to be able to make back in the 90s if the dollar was up that means that all the other currencies in that basket would be down because you couldn't have an up dollar with a, with a down euro it's, the, it's always the opposite if the euro is up 300 pips then the dollar is going to be down a little bit okay quite a bit actually but that's not what happened here today you saw the pound and the euro and the Aussie rally and the dollar rally too basically it stayed right where we was at it didn't do anything so you can't even make the correlation argument and say that well money is just flowing out of the bad assets into the good you know going after the dollar which is the reserve currency blah 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 that's not so because then they explain the pound coming up you can make another argument say, oh, just from profit taking, that's what made the price go, because you know it's profit taking. No. No. Profit taking is one thing, 
but causing the Dow, the S&P, and all that to rally is quite another. So you make the argument, well, it was profit-taking. They took the profit from shorting the Brexit and poured it into stocks. When they explained it, well, they explained the, the Brexit and the Euro and the Aussie and all the other currencies. How do you explain that? You can't. You cannot. How do you explain bonds rallying with the dollar rallying with everything else? You can't. The correlations are destroyed. They have been for many years now. It used to be if stocks were in trouble, you know bonds would be rallying because people put their money into the bonds and they put the money into gold and silver and vice versa. doesn't happen like that anymore. Today you saw gold and silver get beat down. All right, gold is down to 315 now. Quite a drop. Okay, so you have to look at the overall pictures to get a gauge of what's happening. And if you want to get a better understanding of what's really happening, you have to look at silver. Let's look at silver. While the gold was down, the silver caught a bid. We are now at 1784. That is quite impressive. And we got as high as 1791, getting closer to breaking that $18 mark. Technically speaking, I do believe that the silver wants to take out the Brexit high of 1832. So that is the target of where we're heading by Friday. Got to at least test that, if not take it out. If the dead cap bounce is going to be over with, then we should take it out. So that's the target in the silver. All right, the end of week Friday target for gold is 1362.20. Mark's going to need to test and take that out, even though it's flat now after getting beat down a little bit. It is still in a positive pulse wave position and ready to take off and test that 1362 Brexit high as well. So that's our goal for the go uh, for gold by the end of the week. As you can see here, uh, oil is being controlled by nefarious means. It always has been, but it's acting a little bit more gangster right now. During the Brexit, it gets beat down, and now they're taking their boot off the neck and letting it rally, hitting 4810 now. And it's in a positive pulse wave position now. It's set to go to 49 and back up to 50 again. Again, hurting as many people as possible is the name of the game. And here's the one you probably missed today, and that's the Nikkei. If you did not go to pulsecan.blogspot.com, then you did not see the weekly pulse waves that warned you that Nikkei had a 911 rally alert scheduled for this week. Regardless of Brexit, that's what we got. The Dow does not have one. Only the Nikkei has one out of the indices. It's the Nikkei. Don't ask me why and how that is. It just is. I report what is seen and shown, and that's it. I can't give you explanations as to why. It just is. And the Nikkei played out true to the rally alert today. So big hand for the rally alert 911 rally alert in the Nikkei we saw the Nikkei rise up uh, gratefully uh, today the rally alert came at 15 uh, 380 and the Nikkei went futures went up to 15 6 15 today so nice move nice upsurge in the Nikkei uh, definitely paying homage to the rally alert uh, today so that was an awesome one that you probably missed so at the end of the day you're waiting for your re-entries in UVXY and TVIX which probably won't come until the end of the week but because of the, what the positioning of, of the charts right now you probably won't actually get an entry or a fill until Monday technically speaking so uh, if anything, uh, we'll, we'll come back and revisit, but you probably just want to, uh, you know, stay on the sidelines until then. Uh, I don't really see too much happening. Uh, just take a look at the pulse waves on the sheet and just play it, you know, play it from there. That's all you can do at this point. Because right now, there's just nothing um, happening right now. There's so much technical damage to the downside in the market right now. You just don't know where to go. So anyway, with that said... Bulls make money, bears make money, 
and pigs get slaughtered so remember to take what you can and give nothing oh and I almost forgot uh, thank thank you everyone I'm sure on, on behalf of George Soros he wants to thank you for making him even richer than he already is he's done it again about 20 or 30 years ago he attacked the pound sterling and made a billion dollars in one day and that looks like that's what happened again with the Brexit vote the Brexit vote caused the British pound to lose well over a thousand points more like 1500 points 1200 points and you guys made it happen all right here's the pound losing thousands right after George Soros announced that he was uh, going to be operating uh, on the short side of the market and buying gold in addition to that and look here you go all right everyone paid him his money he's done it again so there you have it if you didn't take heed to him shame on you if you didn't make at least a, a couple of dollars off of the brexit situation shame on you you're not a trader you know you got to give it up find a new career all right if you couldn't make money off this brexit not even a penny not even a hundred bucks then you are asleep at the switch and you should fire yourself and hire me peace